How you doing guys? You're here with me, Lion XV, and today is my Geek Box. Now, uh, you may be wondering why the box is upside down. That's because they've plastered my address all over the lid. So I need to do it this way around. So we'll just do a jump cut to it being open. You ready? As if by magic. Look at that. I did it with no jump cut needed. That was just pure skill. I'll have to check that in editing, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh yes. I like Marvel. So let's start with the thing on top. Oh, I like it. Look at that. Exclusive to Z-Box. I don't know what Z-Box is, but uh, it's not this. Individually numbered, embossed on both sides, silver edition. Ooh, what have I got? It is... There's a raptor. Can you... Oh, you had it then. You had it, camera. Come on. I believe in you. There we go. And it's numbered as well. Exclusive to Z-Box, so um, they lied there. That is really good. It's quite heavy as well. Might have to, uh, for the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park. So it's not for a Jurassic World kind of thing. It's an actual Jurassic Park one, as you can see with the symbol on the... Come on. There we go. As you can see with the symbol, it's Jurassic Park. So, to me, that's worth more because of the world. The world films are all right, but Jurassic Park... That's where my memories are from. So we'll keep that there. That is a really good start. So let's go to the t-shirt. Oh. Oh yes. I already like the look of this. I have a hoodie with this on. Now I have a t-shirt with this on. This is Venom. I, I love Venom. You know, I, I, I can't help but think that this is going to be a really good box already. But uh, look at that. It's really well done. Um, it's official Marvel as well. They've got, they're starting getting official branding stuff, which means that they must be getting bigger, because normally it's just stuff that kind of looks like it. But a Marvel T-shirt that's worth the money on its own to me. But we'll move that on its side because I can see even more Venom and Carnage stuff. Oh yes! Right before I do, in fact, don't look at that. Don't, stop looking. Stop. Stop getting distracted. Don't get distracted. Wait one minute. I want to show you something really cool that I've had for ages. Look at this bad boy. I've had this a long, long time. And can I just mention, if you have kids, don't let them anywhere near any of your stuff, because he did have a tongue, but it snapped off. But that is a, a limited edition one that I got a long time ago. 10 years ago, 11 years ago, but that's how much I love them. As you can see the emblem there, that's on the t-shirt. Yeah! He's also been sat in the background for a lot of my videos for absolutely ages. So now I'll let you guys look again. So we'll just put that there and that there. There we go. Let's start with the one that we can see. We have a Venom pop vinyl. Okay, I like um, I like Venom pop vinyl, not so much. But uh, let's open it up and have a look anyway. If it's a decent, get rid of a box. We don't need the box. Oh no, 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 guys, what's going on? I don't want a fucking bobblehead. Oh, it looks uh, it doesn't look as good as it should. Go out. Never mind. Could be worse, I suppose, but ugh. Bobbleheads. It's a very American thing, really, I think. Bobbleheads aren't really something that are popular over here. But you can just stay. What the fuck? Okay, this first, but that's from Loot Crate, and I can prove it. Oh, hang on. Use my limited edition CSGO knife. It's not really, it's just a fucking kitchen knife I got for my birthday, but it looks cool and it's sharp as hell. Right, Carnage, 16 ounce moulded mug. Batch stage pass, blah blah blah. Official Marvel products. It doesn't show a picture, so let's see exactly what we've got here. And put it back in here for the time being. Get rid of that. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks all right. That's a big fucking mug, but it's Carnage, which is Venom's son, kind of. And he's kind of summoned by bleeding. So uh, whoever he's taking control of, well, not really control, they kind of uh, swap roles. If they make themselves bleed in any way, Carnage comes out to play. There we go. I like that. Right, this last bit, I don't know if this is just random shit that they've thrown in there. But, one minute. Okay, gonna have to do a jump cut for that bit, but you won't be able to tell because I wasn't at the camera. But also, I liked it so much I've thrown it away. But I did definitely get one of these previously with a loot crate. Now, I know there may be some Flash Gordon fans out there, so I just want to show you this. There we go. Now you can have two Flash and Gordon. Da, 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 da. Get rid of those. Even without that, I like this box. This box is good. That's it. Get rid of the box. Get rid of that. Let's just line up our stuff. So. Let's see what we have here. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a good t-shirt. Well worth the money. For the just a t-shirt alone, really. I, I know I paid quite a, a fair amount for the hoodie that I've got like this. But, um, yeah, it's I'll probably easily double my money again. I'm going to have to look up this and see like um, if it is worth much money. But um, it's a nice little Jurassic Park collectible. Because I found that with the Jurassic World coming out, Jurassic Park collectibles are few and far between. There we go, look. How cool does that look? Yep. Come back to me. There we go. Yep. Because of the reflectors, because it's reflecting, it's uh, not doing it very well. It's a really good picture of a raptor. And it's all engraved on it. Bobblehead. Uh, it's alright, it's not really my thing. There's bits of paint on the back, as you can see, that's not properly made. So if I had paid full money for this, I would be quite pissed off. But to be fair, I wouldn't pay money for a bobblehead anyway. But it'll still go on the shelf, because you can't necessarily tell straight away it's a bobblehead, because I won't be putting it in a car or anything that's moving. So we just leave it there, pretend it's not a bobblehead, and it's fine. The mug is fucking huge. It is a massive mug. It, that'll hold a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, the only problem with these mugs I've found is they're a bastard to wash because of all the indents and stuff like that. It'd be nice if it companies in future just kind of spent a little bit more money and just filled in the crevices on the inside to make it a flush cup that you could actually wash out properly without having to go on a mining expedition to get all the nooks and crannies clean. But apart from that, you know, that's a small complaint about a really nice mug. Um, that's everything really. Um, the poster, I'm not going to count for anything because uh, they stole that from a, a different company. Or if they didn't, and it was one of the first geek boxes that I got, then shame on you for sending more stuff out that you've already sent out before. But um, either way, all these are actually official licensed products. Which really makes it stand out now as the crate to get, in my opinion. But, as usual, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong in any way. So I've got some more videos coming up. Um, unfortunately, I have been really ill recently. I've been uh, coughing and spluttering, so I haven't really been able to make many videos. Um, I've got some that I need to edit, so there should be some up in a couple of days. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching.